it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to copy the contents of the internal flash memory of this NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit to a USB flash drive. Then we are going to run the Jetson TX1 off of the flash drive itself. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is plug the flash drive into the USB 3.0 hub, which is connected to the Jetson. I have here a brand new SanDisk Ultra Flare USB 3.0 flash drive. It has 64 gigabytes, speeds up to 150 megabytes per second, and it is up to 15 times faster. I don't know what that means, but it seems good. So let's take it out of the package. And I'll plug it in to the hub. This cable is wired into the J21 header. This is for a serial console. The end of this cable goes to a PC. This is in case we need to debug our configuration later. So let's power up the uh, Jetson here and I'll switch over to the screencast. There are several reasons you may want to run your Jetson TX1 off of a USB flash drive. I have such a scenario right here. If I look on my internal flash drive and I take a look to see how much room it has, you'll notice I have 393.8 megabytes free. For this particular project that I'm working on, I need a whole bunch more of GBs on there. So let's close this. The first thing that we need to do is format our flash drive. So let's go to disks. We can see the SD card reader here. We can see the partition one has 15 gigabytes in it. Here's our SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0 drive. File system has one partition and it's formatted as FAT. We need it to be EXT4. So we go down here to our little gear icon. We're going to format the partition. Compatible with Linux systems, that's us. We're going to name it USB root format. Yes, please. Format complete. It's finished formatting this. It's now 62 gigabytes of EXT4. It's not mounted, so let's mount the drive. We can do that by Double clicking here. Our file browser opens. We can close this. Let's open up a terminal. Now we're ready to recite the magic incantation that will copy over our internal flash drive to the USB flash drive. It is sudo cp dash ax slash and then our mounting point which is this. We'll just grab it and drag it over here. Type in our password. And it will start copying. This will take a few minutes. Operation complete. The boot sequence of an embedded system is somewhat different than that of a PC. A PC has a set of firmware, which is called a BIOS, which enables you to select which 
device to boot from. An embedded device is much more direct. You have to define that in a file or some other mechanism. On the Jetson, this is in a file called ext.linux.configuration. So let's switch over to that directory, cd slash boot slash ext linux. We're going to make a backup of the current configuration. We need sudo here. Now let's edit our configuration. sudo gedit external linux.configuration So the current configuration basically sets our root to be slash dev slash mmc block zero, which is the device and P1 represents the partition. We're going to employ what is called a shadow strategy. We're going to make a copy of this. Paste it. Let's rename it. We'll label it as EMMC. We change the menu label to internal EMMC. And in our new entry, we're going to label this as USB flash. Menu label will be USB flash drive. And we need to set the root directory. So let's look that up. So here's the card reader. Here's our flash drive that we just created. It's at slash dev slash SDA one. We'll copy that and we'll paste it here. So root equals slash dev slash SDA one. We'll label as a USB flash. Let's copy that and make that our default. The boot sequence on the Jetson is that it will look at the SD card reader first for something to boot from, and then the internal EMMC. When it looks at the internal EMMC, it will look at this file, extlinux.conf, for further boot instructions. So that's when it will read this and set the root to be slash dev slash SDA one. So let's save this file. Close everything up. And we're ready to reboot. So let's shut this down. And I'll press the power button. And the system will reboot. So we can see this SD, this represents the internal EMMC. When we open up our file browser, take a look at our computer properties. So now you can see that we booted off of the USB flash drive because we now have 44.4 GBs free.
So let's do a sanity check. I happen to have Chromium web browser on here. Restore our pages. And it appears to work. So a couple of things to watch out for. If you have a swap file or something like that, that's system related, that might have changed you'll need to go in and change it. Otherwise, it's pretty much a straight copy of what's on the internal flash drive. Thanks for watching. Thank you.